Hey, welcome to my daily portfolio update. This is Fernando Herrera, and today we're going to be going over my Fidelity account, um, which I invest $1,000 every month, and I have over 30 different companies uh, invested in, and pretty much we're going to be going over how they're performing and how the market in general is performing. Keep in mind that at the time of doing these videos, the market is fluctuating because the market is open right now so it's not like before where i would do my video after the market closes so in basic terms as of right now the value of my portfolio is one thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars i have deposited a total of two thousand dollars and so far as you guys can do the math i've lost a total of roughly nineteen dollars with eighteen cents however that's pretty good because we had a profit um in beginning of September we lost that profit we've been able to minimize the losses that September has brought to us um, we started raising some cash because we knew this was gonna happen and we've been spending that cash slowly in buying opportunities I did have something that I bought yesterday and I'll go and talk about this in a little bit um, a little later in the video so I do want to talk about uh, Tesla first and about their battery day meeting they had their um, annual battery day shareholder meeting where they discuss uh, new breakthroughs on their batteries and they announced some pretty interesting facts however uh, in terms of the hype that the stockholders and share owners of tesla had hoped for it seems to be that they were expecting a little bit more of a more radical type of news uh, because of that tesla is down significantly today and I will be buying somewhere around five to ten dollars on the stock just because I find it to be in a good price. The second stock I do want to talk about is Apple. Apple has been going down for a consistent amount of days. Yesterday was the exception. We kind of got a little bit of a breather. However, Apple is still a good company and of good value. And I've made several videos in regards to the new services they're providing and why I think Apple is still a buy. But the company I want to focus in more specifically in this video today is Nike. Nike, I've done also another analysis on Nike where I thought um, and I explained that Nike still has a lot of potential and we've proven that um, with their quarterly earnings call yesterday. So they, even though with the pandemic, they were able to get sky high sales, they were able to meet most of the expectations. And because of that, Nike actually is surging today significantly which is pretty good and it's very obvious uh, we did own um, Nike and as you guys recall I've been buying Nike uh, for the past week um, you know in a kind of periodic maybe every two days every three days I've been buying some portions of Nike so BTIG and um, analysts pretty much put a target of 152 on Nike which I think it's fair currently Nike is trading roughly around 122 and as you guys can see that's already with the eight percent increase today so so far we have 52 or 54 dollars invested in nike uh, we've made a total of four dollars and 57 cents in profit um, another company that we've been making some good profit today is peloton and chewy and then our biggest losers like i mentioned is tesla uh, disney and salesforce so with that being said, guys, I mean, that's our, pretty much our top movers. Um, our overall biggest movers, Peloton, still with a whopping 33% return and Broom with a 13% loss. Uh, Broom has had a bit of a hard time, um, but again, Apple is right around there. And with that being said, I'm going to be talking about my activity yesterday. Yesterday, I did buy some stocks from Nike. Um, I bought $10 of Nike. And I bought it for the price of 115. Like I said today, the the stock's already 122. Um, as at, at the time of recording this video, so I don't know how they're gonna close, but you kind of see how satisfied um, investors were pretty much with Nike's performance. If you want to know more about Nike and their ability to, I guess, grow in the future, um, Nike has been involving a lot of technology and a lot of user experience into their products. And so they have a very strong customer loyalty basis. So their revenues are still going to be strong even in a pandemic. And so that's why, you know, their product innovation is right there. 
Um, they're starting to become more of a retailer rather than a wholesaler. And so Nike still has a long way to go. And that's why I think that for our portfolio, Nike is a perfect uh, fit. And we continue to see long-term growth for this stock. And we just hope that it continues to grow um, over the period of time. So with that being said, guys, I mean, it concludes the video at the time again. As you guys can see, I already went up to 127. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a brief summary of our portfolio update. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.